In Slacker County ISD, we are riding the technology wave. From the federal government to the local school district, the emphasis on technology-driven instruction is at the heart of educational reform. In 2010, the Obama administration released the final version of the National Educational Technology Plan. Its proper name is Transforming American Education, Learning Powered by Technology. The National Plan organizes its objectives into five broad categories. The first category will approach is assessment. The National Plan calls for continued use of standards assessments. However, the plan also encourages an increase in breadth of standards and emphasizes ongoing formative assessments in addition to the standards assessments to which most of us have become accustomed. The National Educational Technology Plan continues to insist on analyzing data to adjust our instruction based on the data we receive from assessments. It also encourages using technology to assess students within the classroom, such as the use of student response systems. It's really important to note that the National Plan charges us as educators to leverage the power of technology to measure what matters. I am hoping that this particular philosophy puts our education system in a mindset to see assessment as ongoing and formative rather than the current assessment that reeks of the adage, you can't fatten a pig by weighing it. At Slacker County ISD, data analysis will continue to be utilized at all three campuses in the district to adjust and modify instruction. Using technology within our classrooms to assess learning is fairly new within the district. We do have a few sets of student response systems or clickers at each campus, but we need to add more as it becomes feasible. Online surveys and assessments are not common practice yet, but some teachers are beginning to utilize these powerful methods of assessment. The second goal of the National Educational Technology Plan is infrastructure. With a robust and forward-thinking infrastructure, student schools can meet current and future needs of their communities through technology. With broadband everywhere, the school becomes the hub of the community. With internet access provided to students and their families wherever they may be, Along with some type of internet access device for each student, open resources accessible everywhere, and using cloud computing for various functions, schools can greatly empower their students to be at the top of the technology curve. While infrastructure is a huge and often costly piece in the technology puzzle, Slacker County definitely measures up in this goal area. With two recent upgrades, a quad Xeon server for the district and a switch to wireless through Education Service Center Region 15, we have increased our bandwidth substantially. Using N computers with one CPU and several monitors allows our students more access to technology in other areas than computer labs. Parents and staff may access student grades from any location through Parent Connection Interface and Texas Gradebook. Additionally, students and staff have the ability to access their individual folders containing data at home or anywhere they receive internet. We have recently added a mobile access interface for cell phones, allowing staff to receive school email through our exchange system. Our wireless tower is located toward the front of our administration building and provides much greater bandwidth for our district than previously. Students and staff may easily access individual web folders from the district's homepage. Once logged in, all data in these folders can be accessed from anywhere. In order to prevent students from dropping out of school both physically and mentally, the National Educational Technology Plan calls for schools to take a fresh approach to learning. By centering education around student engagement and student voice and choice, education communities produce 
graduates who will be active, creative, knowledgeable, and ethical citizens within our world. The National Plan encourages the use of game-based learning, which definitely appeals to the manner in which the majority of our students approach problems and challenges. Furthermore, the plan proposes advances in the areas of science and technology. Finally, personalized learning using such developments as universal design for learning creates success for all learners with an emphasis on technology. While learning in the manner outlined in the national plan is occurring in pockets throughout the district, we need to push this goal harder. One of the issues to be addressed is the necessity for more professional development in the area of technology integration and student engagement. When teachers begin to understand this philosophy and the value to our students, we will begin to build the capacity of our staff to move in this direction. While we see students engaged and empowered through technology in some areas in our district, without the building of capacity among the teachers and providing the technology to students, we'll continue to see only pockets of change in the learning area. The fourth area within the National Educational Technology Plan is productivity. By viewing learning, assessment, and teaching through different lens, schools will begin to achieve different results from students. Additionally, this area refers to looking at infrastructure and financing in different ways. While paradigm shift was such an overused buzzword in the 1990s regarding education, its intentions still hold water today. We still know that to get the desired results from our education system, we need to rethink many sacred cows within our school world. Our district needs to continue to explore and redefine those sacred cows when it comes to learning, assessment, and teaching processes. While some results may appear favorable in certain areas when looking at the data, we need to look at these areas broadly and deeply. Definitely not easy work. It is work that creates students who are ready to enter the world with the skills and abilities that empower them to be successful after graduation. The other side of the productivity coin concerning infrastructure and finances needs to continue to be monitored. Nevertheless, with J.D. Doyle at the helm of our technology department, SCISD will always be a front runner in this particular area. The fifth and final area of the National Educational Teaching Technology Plan concerns teaching. By providing teachers with a connectedness that extends beyond the neighbor down the hall, the shared pedagogy is wide open. Whether this occurs through wikis, blogs, Skype, or other means, building capacity and connectedness through technology makes sense. Simple and natural for most educators nowadays, by bringing the communication methods used in personal technology interactions, schools allow teachers to interact with other like-minded individuals around the globe, thus creating a larger community than ever before. Locally, our district is in the early stages of this connectivity stage. Again, as with the learning goal, this is occurring in pockets. Certain curricular areas are more open to it than others. Also, certain curricular areas have larger communities already built for them, such as connected communities through the National Council of Teachers of English and the English companion Ning. While the traditional sit and get methods of professional development have their place, Rethinking professional development through technology opens doors that were previously not even in existence. There are so many opportunities on the technology horizon. As a district, Slacker County ISD is perched on the edge of the 21st century technology wave. Let's hang five and meet the goals of the National Educational Technology Plan.